So one of the issues with sleep and adolescence is that there is a biological shift forward in time in terms of the rhythm of sleep in teenagers. They like to start to go to bed later and wake up later. This isn't a choice for them. It's not them being difficult. It's actually genetically hardwired. It has to happen. It seems to be part of that developmental phase in life during those teenage years. And so I think there's some real difficulty. There's some, always some tension between sort of parents and teenagers, especially sleeping in at the weekend. And that's in part for two reasons. First, it's just, as I said, their natural biological rhythm. The second issue though, is that we have typically um, lumbered uh, teenagers with this sleep debt during the week. Uh, they're waking up too early. They would probably prefer to be waking up at nine or 10 o'clock in the morning and start getting educated at perhaps 11 o'clock. That's their natural time to be absorbing information. But we actually ask them to wake up ever earlier. And then at the weekend, they've built up this sleep debt that they try to sleep off together with their delayed start rhythms, their circadian rhythms which means that there is this sort of parental tension where people are pulling off the covers from teenagers at weekends saying you're wasting the day and opening up curtains, but they're simply trying to get the sleep at the time that they biologically desire. And in fact, if you look at the surveys, about 72% of parents of teenagers suspect that their teenager is getting plenty of sleep. But when you look at the actual numbers, there's only about 11% of teenagers that are getting the sleep that they need. In other words, there is a mismatch here. There is a mismatch between belief and the actual objective data of how much sleep that our teenagers are getting. And what this results in is a stigma that parents can often understandably, but have this sort of parent to child transmission of sleep neglect and so the next generation, when they, 20 or 30 years down the line, have their children, they end up feeling as though sleep is something to be um, embarrassed by, that it's shameful, and they pass on that same mentality. And at some point, I think we have to break that parent-to-child transmission of sleep stigma.